Okay, Aquarius. The universe has decided it's time for you to get your May reading. So we're going to throw them down for you. This reading will be for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. And even if you're not, you're not an Aquarius and the title, you know, makes sense for you, go ahead and watch. It's fine. If it resonates with you, cool. It's your free will. Do whatever you choose to do with the message given to you by the cards. If you choose to do anything at all, it's your journey, not mine. I'm just throwing down cards. If it doesn't resonate, that's okay, too. You can check your Moon Rising or Venus sign readings if you think you might want something that may resonate a little bit better. If you don't know how to find that information, there's plenty of resources online where you can just plug in your information. You know, time you were born, the day, where. The time, if you know it. Most people actually have to look at their birth certificate for that. And you can find out that information as well as a lot of information about yourself that you may not have known or weren't willing to acknowledge. Anyway, enough about that. Keep in mind, time and energy are both fluid. All things can and maybe vice versa. Might even play out from the perspective of a cross-watcher. And our dear friends, the cross-watchers are always welcome here at the Fire Sign Tarot Table. Everyone's always welcome, and I appreciate you guys stopping by. Thanks for coming and hanging out. Before I do the invocation... And throw your cards down, Aquarius. Here's a couple quick things we got to go over. One, never make a life-altering decision based on a tarot reading. It's just not a good idea. Please don't do it. Two, if it is not your reading, not your story, not your message, if it's not vibing with you, not making sense in your life, leave the cards on the table and walk away. It's not always going to be your message. That's just how tarot works. I'm sorry. It's a general reading. Don't make me get hate mail because I really don't like hate mail. It makes me sad. Okay. Heavenly Father, Mother Earth, Holy Spirit, Spirit Guides, and Archangels, I ask for any messages you have for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, May 2021. Thanks for coming down and hanging out with us again today. Let's bring Aquarius to their highest possible good, the highest possible spiritual path. Aquarius, why are you here? The Hermit. You're walking the walk right now. You're healing, probably doing some introspection. I mean, cool. Carter Virgo, if that's ringing off, you know, sending off alarm bells, cool. If it's not, whatever. May or may not involve a Virgo. You're healing. Okay. Let's find out what you may or may not be healing from. What happened? The world, something came to an end. If it came to an end, it was supposed to. Old cycles have to end before new cycles can begin. It is just the way it is. I'm just saying. I'm I'm not being a cold person. That's just how it is. It wasn't a glorious moment, was it? <clears throat> Six of Wands reversed. I'm going to throw a clarifier on that before I speak on it, or at least get the bottom of the deck on it before I speak, because I, I'm, it's static right now. It's just, nope, keep your mouth shut. It's happening right now. Disconnecting from someone, possibly friends. You may have shoved some people out of your life. Okay. That's where you're at right now. You're healing. Okay. Okay. If you have to cut people out and say, sorry, can't do it, you do what you got to do. You do you. <laughs> Just do you. What's coming in? Four of cups reversed, rejecting an offer. First thing that's popping into my head. I don't want the cup. Okay. You're healing. You probably shouldn't be taking any cups right now anyway. The moon. Okay. Um. <clears throat> That's the House of Mirrors card. Card of P Pisces. If it means something cool, if it doesn't... Okay. Okay. Mm. I'm going to have to get a couple more cards on that. It's, it's static. Don't, don't say anything yet. Okay. 
I don't like it when a signed card pops up upside down. You're healing. It's a process, isn't it? Wait for clarity. Eight of Cups reversed. It's retrograde. Something tried to come back and you're like, nope. Or you tried to return and they were like, nope. Four of Pentacles. Oh, this was not a glorious moment at all. This was not a glorious moment. You held on to a lot of those feelings. <laughs> Knight of Cups A Knight of Cups comes riding in at a point where you're disconnecting I don't want your cup Next, Six of Swords. But I have come back from the other side of the river where the grass was not so green. I have learned my lessons. Please take my cup. I don't want your cup. I don't want it. <clears throat> oh, I can't wait to throw one on this moon. Seven of Pentacles. Oh, gosh. I need clarity. I think so. <laughs> How long can I wait this out? <clears throat> Oh my gosh, my head is like boom, 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 boom right now. <laughs> right in the middle. It's like a popcorn kernel trying to pop. Oh my gosh. <clears throat> the nine of one showed itself to me too. We'll see if it comes back out. Universe, source, and spirit. Can I get some clarity in the cards on the table for Aquarius, please? Sun and Rising Venus, May 2021. Ten of Swords, Eight of Swords, Reverse. There's, we'll see if they come back out, but I think something is definitely coming to an end, and you're you are breaking the bars on that mental cage, Aquarius. We'll see if they come back out. Eight of Cups, walking the walk, walking the walk, find something else to fill your cups.
Okay. We're moving on up, moving on up. All right. Why the star reversed? It gave me two. Six of Wands reversed and the King of Swords. Taking that sword, cutting things out of your life, making logical decisions rather than emotional ones, but it's still not a glorious moment, is it? Nope. Honest conversations. Not feeling so victorious. Why the world? A lot of negative energy here. Six of Cups, they were a soulmate. Probably played with them for a while. Why the Six of Cups? Justice reversed. Things weren't balanced. Could have been a legal matter. I mean, if, if it's yours, run with it. If it's not, leave it alone. Things weren't balanced. Someone gave more than the other. Someone cared more than the other. Things weren't balanced. It had to come to an end. Why this Eight of Cups reversed on top of this world? Ten of Pentacles. Okay. So there may have been a return. Either they came back because they saw how well you were doing... Or they came back to show you how well they're doing. I think it's because they saw how well you're doing, Aquarius. Mm. Or you were when they came back. This is all the past right here. This is the past. Why the Six of Wands reversed? Nine of Wands came back out. Why the Nine of Wands? High Priest reversed. Thank God. Okay. This is where the story kind of splits a little bit. Because the Nine of Wands can talk about, okay, let's give it one last try. The Nine of Wands can also speak of putting up walls around something. With this High Priest reversed on top of it. You may have tried to give it one last shot and it didn't work out the way you wanted it to. And that's why it may have been a slightly embarrassing situation. Or... You put up the walls because it was already an embarrassing situation. And that's why it didn't work out. Hard to tell at this point. Why is the Four of Pentacles here? Why the Four of Pentacles? Ace of Cups. Why the Ace of Cups? The sun. Oh, gosh. The sun. Oh, they held on to you. 
They held on to you. They held on to a full cup for you. You made the sun shine in their world. This was a soulmate connection. One more on the sun. The moon! And this moon card tells me let's go take a walk down this misty trail where things aren't as they seem. I think something that you put to an end came back because it saw how well you were doing. Gosh, I hate that. But it is what it is. It's part of life, right? This is where you're at right now. Why the Three of Cups reversed? Whoa, 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 whoa. Nine of Swords. Oh, gosh. The Nine of Swords. Yeah, you... Not only are you disconnecting from it, it's keeping you up at night. You're chewing on it. You're chewing on it. Why the Nine of Swords? Nine of Cups. Because you were happy. I'm sorry, what? I'm sorry, what? You were happy. You wanted the tenth cup. I think you wanted that tenth cup real bad. Hmm. All right. Why the Knight of Cups? Ten cups. I got your tenth cup. It's right here. But we have to walk down this misty trail where things aren't as they seem to go get it. Oh, honey. Oh, honey. Oh, honey. Oh, honey. Oof. 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 Why is the Four of Cups reversed here? This, this is the part you actually want to see. Why is the Four of Cups reversed here? Two of Pentacles. Do I want the cup? Do I not want the cup? Is this decision easier if I have one foot off the ground? Why the two of, why the two of pentacles? The emperor. Whoa. Okay. I'm hearing, I'm sensing for some of you, you're not sure how this decision will affect children or how it will affect something that you've, you know, nurtured or watched grow. One more on that emperor.
High Priestess reversed. Oh. This may be a pride issue, too. Emperor next to a High Priestess reversed. The High Priestess reversed indicates egos. <sighs> Hmm. Why the Six of Swords reversed? Seven of Swords. They always come back for their stuff, don't they? They always come back for their stuff. One more on that Seven of Swords. Nine of Pentacles. I see you're doing well. I see you're but one pinnacle away. I have your 10th cup. Let's go down this misty moonlit trail. Oh, honey. Why? Oh, honey. Quite frankly, I don't think I'd want the cup either. I really don't. I, I don't think I'd want it. Why is this moon card here? <sighs> the tower and the ace of wands. The tower is reversed. <clears throat> Let's start over. Let's rebuild the tower on the banks of this misty river where the sun never shines and things are obscured. One more on that. Four of Wands. Why is the four of wands here? The four comes right before the five. Five is conflict. I'm not feeling celebration coming off of this. I don't know why this card is here. Five of pentacles. I missed you. I want to celebrate your success. I want this passion a new beginning. I want to rebuild this tower on the banks of this misty river in the moonlight where the sun never shines and things are always obscured. This is fishy as all get out, Aquarius. They're, they're trying to pull you into something. They're going to try to pull you into something, and I don't like it. I feel it. I sense it. Energy vampires will attack the vulnerable. They will. They will attack the vulnerable. You're healing. You're on a path to find your cups of happiness. And I have a horrible feeling that somebody's going to try to come in and put a band-aid on a wound. Oof. Oof. I don't, I don't even know if this and this are the same person. It might be, but I don't know if it is or not. The 
Why is the Seven of Pentacles here? King of Cups. Oh, gosh. I will wait here patiently to give you this giant cup of love. Or of Swords. Laying it to rest. I don't see you taking the cup. But do what you want. Just be wary of what may be in that cup and think long and hard before you take it. You are on a path to greatness. Do not let someone pull you off your path. Page of Swords, Ten of Pentacles. Well, Ten of Wands, King of Pentacles. Hmm. If something seems too good to be true, it probably is. So you better fact check before you go chasing pentacles. If that makes any sense to anybody. And the Ten of Wands, King of Pentacles, you have to release things before good things can come to you. You have to release the negative things. Three of Pentacles reversed in death. Do not start new things before old things have ended. Especially if you're in the process of a death and healing cycle. It's best not to try to build foundations during that time. <clears throat> Seven of Cups reversed, Five of Wands. Avoid situations that cause confusion and conflict. And keep in mind the advice sometimes does not have anything to do with the rest of the reading, but avoid situations that cause confusion and conflict. Okay. Aquarius, this is what I have for you for the month of May. Let me know if it resonated. This was freaking heavy. I think I need to be done for the day. So, thanks for coming to hang out. I might not be done for the day, though. I don't know. I don't know. I might do one more because I'm already 95% of the way ready for the bread and butter job. Anyway, take care. Be blessed. Thanks for coming by, and I'll catch you guys next time.